Welcome back. China's opening and reform has spawned many personal success stories of people who have risen from humble roots to enjoy the trappings of wealth. Far more unusual are the rags-to-riches stories of people who choose to lavish their newfound wealth not on themselves, but on others. To the north of Shaoguan City in Guangdong Province lies a small village inhabited by Yao people called Dragonhead Village. Until recently, this was a very poor place, where the average annual income was just a thousand yuan. So visitors today are astonished to see so many beautiful houses. The construction of the houses was financed by a man named Lin Yue Kai, known to be the young people of the village as Uncle Kai. He's held in great affection in the village, and since it was he who had the new houses built. The old man singing the local dialect in front of the old ancestral temple is Lin Fang Jing. He always sings for visitors to the village. The songs, more than 100 of them, all of which he himself has written, are about Lin Yue Kai. Twenty years ago, when Lin Yue Kai discussed his dream with his friends and neighbors, he earned the name Utopian. No one had any confidence that his dream would ever come true. Even four years ago, when he announced that he planned to put all his money and energies into building houses for the villagers, hardly anyone took him seriously. Today, most of the old houses in the village have been demolished and replaced by new houses. At first, people couldn't understand why he would build houses for other people. There was even some who were suspicious of his motives. Lin Yue Kai's childhood was so poor that his family couldn't afford to send him to school until he was 12. Even so, he was forced to drop out three years later. But true to the spirit of his Hakka forefathers, who were renowned for their industriousness and resolution in the face of adversity, Lin Yue Kai made up his mind that one day he would eradicate poverty from his home village. So in 1979, Lin Yue Kai left Dragonhead Village to try his luck in the big wild world. Little did he imagine that it would be 15 years before he was to return. During those 15 years, he tried his hand at many occupations. Eventually, he became a coal miner, which led him into the coal business. After numerous ups and downs, he became successful. And by the year 2000, he was ready to return to Dragonhead Village. In 2002, he started to carry out his dream of building houses for his fellow villagers. A team led by Lin Yue Kai drew up a blueprint for demolishing the old houses step by step and modernizing the entire village within three to five years. But things did not go as Lin had hoped. The villagers remained suspicious of his motives, and there was a distinct lack of support for his plan. A number of village meetings were held, and nothing could be agreed. 
A key role in realizing Ning Yuke's utopian dream would be played by the Shaoguan Cement Factory, which was located in the village. Lin was well aware that what he had saved from 15 years of hard work was not on his own enough to carry out his plan. So he took a gamble and assumed control of the local cement factory, which was on the brink of bankruptcy with debts of 200 million yuan. Lin Yuekai believed that with strict management, the factory could be revived. He introduced a series of reforms and even fired two of his own sons for violating the factory's code of conduct. Eventually, a village congress adopted a resolution on building a new house for every family. According to the resolution, each household will be offered a 5,000 yuan subsidy, with the rest of the cost to be borne by Lin Yuekai. The congress was attended by representatives of all the village families, more than 50 in all. The meeting lasted for the whole night, the discussion was heated, and tempers were at times frayed. The biggest concern was about the demolition of the old houses, with many of the villagers saying that they were worried about what they would do if the new houses were not completed. By the end of the meeting, only 19 families had signed the contract. But even they remained suspicious. They reasoned that should the plan fail, they still had the subsidy from the village. Lin Yuekai wanted to come up with a good name for his utopian village, which had until then been known as Fentou. In March 2002, he persuaded the villagers to change the name to Longtou, meaning Dragon Head. Thus, he took the first step towards achieving his utopian dream. The construction of the new village was launched to coincide with the Dragon Boat Festival in the fifth lunar month of 2002. Everything went as planned, and the first stage of housing construction was completed on schedule. As Lin had promised, the first 19 families who had signed the contract were told they could move into their new homes. But then a fresh problem arose. Everyone wanted the house with the best location. Finally, it was agreed that the houses should be allocated by drawing lots, since Lin Yuekai had provided most of the money, the others agreed he could choose his house, but Lin refused and insisted on drawing a lot like everyone else. And yet, despite such gestures, people were still talking about him behind his back. Lin Yuekai was not unduly concerned. He believed that anyone who wanted to do something significant first had to learn to be tolerant. Finally, the first group of villagers moved into their new villa-style houses. They were completely won over and began to treat Lin Yuekai with more respect. When Lin Yuekai's eldest son got married, many people from the nearby villages used the occasion as an excuse to come and see the new Dragon Head village. In 2003, Lin Yuekai's cement factory recorded its first profit of 10 million RMB. The factory's revival created jobs in the village. With 80% of the residents working at the factory, the village became the richest in Ru Yuan County. Average annual incomes increased rapidly from 1,000 to 6,500 yuan. By the end of 2003, another two rows of houses had been completed and all the villagers were living in new houses. But Lin Yuekai is still not satisfied. He has drawn up blueprints for the next 10 and 20 years. In 20 years' time, he envisages Dragon Head Village being the number one village in southern Guangdong. He also has plans to develop tourism in the area. <laughs> 